Hi, Taurus. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, if you're spying on a Taurus, wondering what their month's going to be like. It's the month of May 2018, so we're going to look at your general theme, like what's going on this month. Um, we're going to specifically look at how your money will go this month, a little bit in career, how other people improve your month or kind of fuck it up for you, um, what to fo focus on you know, in order to have the happiest month possible or the best month possible. And then I'm going to give you your crystal of the month. So let's get started. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing for EverStyle. And so I just wanted to let you know. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, I am pumped up because I love the decks that I picked for you this month. I'm excited. And they're like, ooh, first things first, we want you to get like really um, clear about what it is that you're focusing on, like as far as like research or like career stuff, okay? The reason why I'm talking about career first, even though I wanted to talk about general theme, is because of the number here. Okay, the number nine is often about financial success or careers or um, like our work life. Okay, now there might be some sort of element where like more learning is needed or it would help you. It would benefit you in a positive way. So maybe you want to start thinking about, um, you know, getting a master's degree. Maybe you're already in a certification program or something for your career and you need to be doing this on your own, like not in groups. Like the solitude is going to make things a lot more clear for you as to the next steps. This could even be education so far as like um, webinars that you see on Facebook and, and shit like that. But they're like, in regards to career, there's something here that you need to spend a little bit of time focusing on because it will come as a massive benefit for you. You should know what that is. Um, like looking to that North Star, like, okay, this is what I am wishing for. It will help you to get there. Um, obviously, it's not going to be easy because of these jagged like mountain sides and stuff. But for the most part, the challenges are behind you now. So if you just really um, spend some time alone focusing on career or money, you'll end up where you want to be. Okay. So that's in general. Um, what else do we have as a general theme for the month? Actually, I'm going to switch decks here. Give me a second. Okay, so your general theme for the month is, um, so you might not have committed enough to having a joyful life. You want to put more um, joy into your every day. You ought to release any old emotions that you have that are making you stuck, any ways of thinking, um, like patterns, you know, any habits that you have that inhibit you from living your best life. Um, this includes like any ideas that you have like, okay, well, things are hard, like especially going back to that card. Oh, shoot, I already shuffled it into the deck. It's not right on top. But um, okay, it's so hard to get this training or it's so hard to launch a business or it's so hard to, um, you know, find the time to study or whatever. They're like, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Find the joy in it. Okay. Focus on the fact that it's benefiting you in one way or another or that it shall in the future. Okay. They want you to commit to, um, joy, but also ease. So this is like my best life hack ever. I use this all the time and friends that I've shared this with have used it and they're like, oh my gosh, smartest thing. If you gratitude journal, always gratitude journal for ease because the things that we're thankful for are the things we get more of, right? And so when you gratitude journal for ease, magical things happen. When I do this, like in each entry, when I add that, I notice that things go a lot smoother for me. I find new apps or programs that make my job a little bit easier. Um, I find all sorts of information that 
helps me to work smarter instead of harder. And so that's what I'm talking about. Or even things that should be challenging, you know, like you leave your house at rush hour and you're like, oh my God, it's going to take me forever to get here. It just ends up to be like you hit every light when it's green. Um, the roads that you're on are pretty traffic free because people are taking alternate routes, things like that. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is that you might be a little bit unwilling to compromise out of fear this month, and that's something that we want to work on as well. you got to be a little bit more compassionate. Um, understand that every person is, like, the way that they are because of the sum of their own experiences. Like, their experiences from birth until now are different than yours, and so they might think differently, you know, whatever. So you've got to be compassionate and keep that in mind, like, and not, it's not necessarily that you're being judgmental, um, but you're maybe not being, coming across as loving as you should. You might be plenty loving, but other people don't see it that way, okay? So, uh, moving into the specifics. What's up with your money this month? They say that the challenge is changing our money mindset and also our money reality. Now, I want you to notice here that the number is 13. Like, ah, things might have been unlucky before, but one plus three is four, and you should be changing into this area of greater stability because four is all about things that are stable and reliable, okay? But it's challenging to get there. Why is it challenging? And they're saying because... Things are sort of spiritually out of balance for you. And I think that's going to go back to um, maybe our mindset or our thought patterns or um, our fears. But we'll check more into that. What they're saying is you have to imagine that everything is balanced and harmonious now. Okay? And um, for you, this is coming from like a heart chakra level. Like feeling like, okay, things are actually pretty good. Gratitude journaling, again, is going to be important. Um I am thankful, even if you can't, okay, for example, with Law of Attraction, people will say, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, and then they get pissed like a month down the road that they didn't magically become a millionaire. Okay, well, making affirmations that you don't believe in aren't going to help you. You have to truly believe it and radiate the love for that situation for it to actually work because it works through our heart chakra, through that love energy, okay? Now, why is that important? Because this is what I'm saying in regards to this transformation and this stability. It's challenging to get there, but you can be there. And maybe the way to phrase things, if you're going to write down things, um, because writing does speed up the law of attraction. Like if you gratitude journal for things in advance, you could say, I'm in the process of attracting financial balance. I'm in the process of attracting a good work-life balance. I'm in the process of attracting a million dollars. And now it becomes truth and it becomes something that you can and believe in, therefore you're more inclined to receive it, right? Okay, so they're saying um, you might be a little bit emotionally invested in things that you shouldn't be, okay? And so what specifically is that and why is it affecting your money? Well, they're saying um, this is sort of, it has to do with like communication, okay? It has to do with our thoughts, but also what we're saying to other people. It's coming from a very logical or mental place and not from a spiritual place. So in order to tip that back the way that it's supposed to be, you want to kind of spiritualize um, what you're doing and what it is you're trying to manifest, spiritualizing your, um, like, money. People don't often do that, right? Because they think, like, money isn't spiritual, but it actually is. Money is an energy just like anything else, like love. It's something that we give and we receive, okay? So you want to get thinking about money in terms of spirituality, and you want to be um, asserting to the universe what it is that you desire so that you can get it. Every time that you give money away, like you pay a bill, you go, I'm so thankful I paid that bill. Every time that you tip somebody at the coffee shop, you know, it's like, there's more where that came from. And then that becomes your truth. And you feel very positive about money. And then the more positive you feel about it, the more you get. This is why the rich get richer because they feel good about money and the poor get poorer. Because, I mean, social aspects too, right? Like our government and whatever. But um, also, like, because it's mindset related, you totally get to decide how you're going to feel. So, um, best way for you to spiritualize your money they're like, I'm getting like not through a webinar. 
<laughs> like not through like a build your spiritual business kind of deal. Um, they're saying they want you to pay attention to number signs. Okay. That's really important for you this month. Pay attention to number signs. Maybe follow like a numerology blog or something like that. That will be very, very helpful. Okay. So what's going on with your career this month? And we're getting... Um, okay. So your, your solar plexus chakra, very balanced. Okay. All of this like confidence and enthusiasm, you want to make sure that other people see it. They're saying, um, if you do that, if you're very confident, if you like just are, okay, I know what I'm doing. If you're really a go-getter this month, there's going to be nothing that really distracts you from achieving goals or, um, from having good stability in your career. Now, how are other people going to improve your month? And they're saying, well, they're not really bringing out like any negative things that you need to address this month. Like it's not like you forcing you to look at your shadow side or something like a Mercury retrograde would. Um, but other people's choices are like other people are not making good choices, but somehow that works to your benefit. So perhaps you have um, a competitor right? And they make a shitty decision and all of a sudden you start, uh, sorry, somebody's mowing my lawn. So that might be a little noisy because they're right by the window. Um, but the point is, is that they make a shitty decision, right? And all of a sudden you get a, a lot of their clients because maybe they made a Facebook post that was like super racist or something like horrible, you know? And so then all of a sudden people start buying things from you. Um, maybe something happens at work and you you and somebody else are up for a promotion and, um, they don't call or show up. They just go off the grid for two days. Who gets the promotion? You do by default, okay? And it doesn't mean that you don't deserve it. It's just like other people's fuck-ups are your benefit as far as career goes in the month of May. Now, um, how are people going to sort of try and ruin your life in May? And they're saying, um, well, a lot of people, like, they just think they're smarter than you. And so they might be creating some chaos, like especially at home, like kind of bossing you around, telling you how to do things like they think they're more experienced or whatever. But the fact is, is like if you ignore that, if you ignore them, if you don't engage in like a battle of the wills, which is going to be hard for you because Taurus can be a little bit stubborn. If you just like let them have their opinions, you're like, all right, whatever. Um, everything will be fine. Nobody can really fuck up your month. You have a pretty positive month. Um, so what is it that you need to focus on um, in order to have the best, most happy May ever, Taurus? And oh, look at that. Gratitude. So if you don't have a gratitude journal, I would definitely get one. It's super important for you. Gratitude journaling for things in advance. Um, or, you know, even just saying thank you for things like when you're at stoplights. I challenge myself all the time when I'm stopped at a stoplight to be like, okay, thank you for oxygen. Thank you for sunlight. Thank you that my car works. Um, thank you for safety. Thank you for seatbelts. Thank you for, you know, whatever's going on in my life. But there's always something to be thankful for. And the more that you're thankful for things, the better your life becomes. And so they're saying, like, this is um, something that some of you are doing but then the majority of you are maybe not doing enough and it's what's creating some sort of um, a problem for you mentally, right? Like it just makes you feel more down. Your vibration raises the more gratitude you express. It just helps you to naturally feel better. And so like the conflicts that you have are really not conflicts because it's a number two. Everything is balanced. You're just talking about them like they are, right? So there's two ways to frame every single situation. You can do it positive or negative. So for example, let's say that somebody lost their job. Um, oh man, like this is horrible. I got laid off or whatever. Or you could frame it as, hey, this is so exciting. I can go and look for something more fulfilling. Yay. You know? So your choice, but gratitude journal for things. Even if you don't yet have the understanding as to why this is happening, thank you for teaching me through this challenge is a really great way to express gratitude. All right? Now, your crystal of the month is smoky quartz. So um, big one, little one. Well, this is really actually pretty big too. This one's just like gigantic. Um, This one's awesome. I just want to show you this because some of you haven't like watch the crystal videos and I don't even know if anyway this one helps in relationships with soulmates 
Do you see that? Because of the soulmate formations there. This one also helps with like group settings where um, someone's opinion is opposite of other people and it's causing negative tension. Oh, you see the little angel orb fly by? Yay. Okay, so this is really an important crystal for somebody. Somebody needs it. Somebody who's watching this. All right. Um, this one, this one uh, is really great for a lot of things. I didn't notice it until now. I always just liked this one because it's got like the sparkles here. Um, but it's good for soulmates. But then it's got like this little trigger point here, which is helpful to direct energy. But I didn't want to talk about the quality, like the um, the shape of those crystals. I'm just in awe of them because they're beautiful. Anyway, um, point is your crystal of the month, your power crystal, Taurus, is smoky quartz. And so um, smoky quartz is really, really good at taking negative energy and then like getting rid of it, dumping it out, and replacing it with light energy, like in your aura, in your field, okay? It's going to help you to feel grounded in reality. It's going to help you to kind of face your responsibilities to tackle things. It helps um, boost your mood. Like, so if you're suicidal, it will help uh, eliminate those thought patterns and give you more hope. Um, it gets rid of anything that's like not really useful for you. It gets rid of fear. It increases um, your awareness of like your dreams and what they mean. It helps you to set goals. It helps you to quit smoking. It helps you to quit negative thought patterns like we talked about. It does so many things. You can learn more about it at my website. But that's your month of May. And I can't wait to see you for love readings. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!